Hey Laxers, here I'm going to show you how I constructed uh, my very own lacrosse backstop. Alright, here's a shot of my net spread across. And it's about 11 feet high and 25 feet across. And stretches from the side of the house over to that place that. Right, I bought the net from Amazon.com. Um, for about 40 bucks. Uh, the material I needed was the wire, 16 gauge wire, which you can probably get at Home Depot, um, or Lowe's. Um, up there is a 2x4, which was laying around the house. And I'll show you over there on the side of the house is a spring. Alright, so here's a spring. I'll show you how I attach it to my house. I attach the uh, the wire to a spring, um, and then attach that to a block of wood and anchored it to the side of my house. And the reason I put a spring there was because the force of the shots doesn't rip out the wire, and therefore rip the siding out of my house. So it gives like a little cushion um, and counteracts the force of the shots. And so that's been working good for me right now. But you can come up with your own thing, you know, depending on your know, location. Um, and the layout of your backyard. Alright, so here's a close shot up of the net and the wire. And it's pretty simple. I just loop the, uh, the wire through every hole um, of the net. And then from the other side, from the house, I have a 2x4 here. And I just screw that into the playset and then just wrap this wire around the 2x4 Let's see over here. Right. And it's been holding up pretty well I haven't had any problems yet and it hasn't you know, let me down yet hasn't, hasn't ripped, you know, the, the, the wood standing still sturdy um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with it right. um, yeah, so like I was saying, I bought this from Amazon.com um, measures about 11 at 25, I believe. Um, I'll post a link on my site um, for you to get the, the exact net that I got if you want. And here's the size of the holes, which is perfectly small enough for you know any lacrosse balls, um, you know, of course baseballs, soccer balls, or whatever you know you're kicking at it. And here I put, I, uh, you know, I moved along to the side because it's retractable. Um, and there's a shot. This way I can, you know, mow the lawn or put it aside for winter. Make sure, you know, no birds or squirrels get caught in it. And then that's it moved to the side and I got all the space, you know, for whatever I need to do. Alright, actually, so that's basically how I constructed my own lacrosse backstop. And I did this because I really refuse to pay. Um, for a lacrosse backstop, you know, I've seen. I was trying to um, buy one, and I was searching online, and <laughs> I've seen prices to three hundred to two thousand dollars, and charging that much for the same thing I got. You know, nylon netting. Um, they have, of course, aluminum poles. Um, but no way, I, I'm not paying for that. So this setup works, and it cost me less than sixty bucks for everything. You know, and I'm sure you can do the same thing. Mine's pretty crude, and I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look very nice, but it works, and stops from that fence being broken and those windows and the siding. So it's a good investment and prevents <laughs> any further damage from my shots. So good luck with uh, your construction of your own lacrosse backstop. If you have any questions. Just send me a message.